Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. This is Shahjadi Akhtar, Assistant Teacher of Science of National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Today I am going to take a science class for class 6 students and our today's topic is Chapter 13, Discussion Part 2 and our lecture number our lecture number 36 and topic chapter 13 discussion part 2 dear students now start our class uh, class uh, chapter 13 food and nutrition protein in uh, in our previous class we have discussed the uh, function of carbohydrate now, now we will discuss protein protein can be divided into animal and plant protein fish meat egg milk and dairy products are derived from animals and are known as animal protein that means <coughs> fish meat egg milk and dairy products are animal protein protein can be divided into two groups uh, animal protein and fat uh, plants protein on the other hand pulse pulses nuts kidney beans etc are derived from plants and this is called plant protein okay dear students uh, protein can be divided into two groups animal protein and plant protein now the fun we will discuss the functions of protein number one the main function of protein is to develop cells the main function of protein is to develop cells for example muscles bones and blood cells of our body are mainly composed of protein protein produces heat in our body this is the first func uh, function number one uh, the main functions of protein is to develop cells for example muscles bones and blood cells of our body are mainly composed of protein protein produces heat in our body <coughs> and number two proteins are involved in the production of antibodies which protect us from different diseases that means the main function of protein is to uh, the production of antibodies in our body which protect us from different diseases now number three lack of protein causes kosher among children this is very very important lack of protein causes kosher among children due to the due to these diseases the normal growth of the body is hindered hindered and if the growth of children is slowed down they are likely to suffer from malnutrition now we will discuss fats or oils and calorie foods that are mostly constituent uh, of fats and oils are called fats and oils like protein fats and oils are also divided into two groups animal fats and plant fats fats now we'll discuss function of fat number one fat produces heat and energy to work layers of fat under the skin helps trap the body heat number two fat prevents the wastage of protein and number three fat facilitates vitamin a d e and k in our body now we will discuss calorie heat is produced what is calorie heat is produced from foods containing carbohydrate protein and fat and oil the heat helps digestion metabolism respiration blood circulation etc in our body the heat produced from energy in body is expressed in calories heat produced from energy in food is expressed in calories the measuring unit of heat energy in food is expressed in kilocalories okay now we'll discuss the definition of calorie the heat that is required to increase the temperature of one gram water by one degree celsius is one calorie and 1000 calorie equal one kilocalorie now we'll discuss vitamins food contains a small dose of organic element which is necessary for good health and this type of organic element is called vitamins depending on solubility vitamin can be divided into two types dear students depending on solubility vitamins can be divided into two types number one first one is water soluble vitamins and second one is fat soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins are vitamin b complex and vitamin c 
ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स भिटामिन बी कमप्लेक्स एंड भिटामिन सी इज व्टार सोलेबल भिटामिन एंड फैट सोलेबल भिटामिन आर भिटामिन ए भिटाम डि भिटाम इ एंड भिटाम के दिस इज फर दिस इज भेरि भेरि इम्पर्टेंट फर योर एम सिक्यू फैट सोलेबल भिटाम आर भिटाम ए भिटाम डि भिटाम इ एंड भिटाम के नाउ आई डिसकस the function of vitamin vitamin a vitamin b complex vitamin c and vitamin d and i'll discuss also sources vitamin a sources liver egg butter cheese fish um, uh, carrot etc and functions the function of vitamin a is growth and development of body maintains good eyesight fights against diseases now vitamin b complex the sources of vitamin b complex is egg liver kidney milk kidney milk wheat nuts etc and the function of vitamin b complex is growth of body um, healthy maintenance of heart nerve and digestion digestive system vitamin c the sources of vitamin c are beer, lemon orange amla guava green leafy green leafy vegetables and the functions of vitamin c are development and maintenance of bones and teeth and healing wounds now vitamin d the sources of vitamin d are milk butter fish oil egg and the function of vitamin d are facilitates the functioning of calcium and phosphorus development and maintenance of healthy teeth and bones so dear students i i have finished my today's class and keep practicing at home and memorize properly all question answer keep practicing at home allah hafiz